Hello everyone. Recently, Edwin wanted to know what I eat as an athlete, everyday life, when I'm working out, when I'm not working out. The honest truth is I usually eat the same thing I eat every day as when I'm working out. With the exception of maybe I'll eat like an extra snack at the end of the night if I'm exercising every single day, but I typically eat almost the same amount of food every day. On really rare occasions when I'm doing like insane back-to-back -back, like five plus hour workouts, I'll eat close to 6,000 calories a day. Lately, I've been eating about 3,500, 4,000 calories a day. I've also been exercising a good amount Mondays through Wednesdays. Tonight, I'm eating 16 ounces of rotini. This is gonna be 1,600 calories here, 56 grams of protein, and only 12 grams of fat. High carb, low fat. With that, I'm gonna have 345 calories of black beans, 24 grams of protein, zero fat. Super good. Water, sea salt. 67 cents, a dollar eight. This meal here, minus the seasonings, which I'll go over in a second, this meal is literally under two dollars. And the pasta alone is enough for, it's eight servings. And the beans are three and a half servings. It's huge. So this is about like 80 grams of protein. It's about 2,000 calories, maybe 1950. I added habanero sauce, black pepper, a touch of sea salt, curry, onion powder, mustard powder, and um, did I already say habanero? I added nutritional yeast. So this is a solid meal, and this is one of my favorites. Last week, I was really tight on funds, so I cashed out some of my change, and I had $40, and I spent 35 of it at Winco and got a bunch of beans and corn and pasta, all of my staples. And then those are my main sources of calories. I'll add like some veggies here and there to get the other nutrients that I wanna get. But I have the staples of calories. I also eat a lot of rice and lentils. So I just like eat those and I switch off from day to day and I use different seasonings to have different flavors. So I'm not eating the exact same thing every day. Same thing with the oatmeal. Just started doing oatmeal for breakfast because it's a little cheaper than buying the fruit every week. Two dollars for two pounds of oats, and I'm smashing it in with brown sugar and a choice of fruit, whether it's a banana or a strawberry, but making sure that I'm getting in the calories. Solid meal, I'm gonna smash this out. Um, one last thing, a lot of people always reach out to me on Instagram and ask me what app I'm using. I'm using Chronometer. When I first went plant-based, I was told it was impossible to be a plant-based athlete. So I researched for weeks, trying to find out everything I could to make sure that I didn't fail if I decided to go plant-based slash vegan. Plant-based diet is a way of eating. I like to say I'm a plant-based athlete because veganism is a whole lifestyle. It's not just about eating. It's about your clothing, the environment, and plant-based eating. You could decide to eat plant-based for a week and go back to eating animal products. But when you make the choice to go vegan, you never change your mind because you're going vegan for everything, for the animals, the planet, your health. So when someone really makes a decision to actually go vegan, there's no possible way they would ever go back. Because why would you? 